Um, the only thing I really want to talk about on the pre-stream as we still build it up a little bit here today is uh, a little bit more about my moving, about the scenario of closing on this house this week. What a mess it is. So get this. Here's what happened. So yesterday, yesterday, I, uh, I take my girlfriend to the train station, Leanna. She's, uh, she's now back in Pennsylvania for the final month. After this month, when she comes to visit me in June, that's it. She's staying with me. We're moving in together. So, uh, she get, you know, I take her on the train. As I'm doing all this, I start getting frantic emails from people that uh, somehow, number one, I need to wire a big chunk of money for the down payment and all the fees and everything for this, this uh, purchase of this home to go down for my closing date, which is supposed to be Thursday. At this point, that's up in the air, and I'll explain why. Uh, so I don't even, and they say you can only do a wire transfer or a cashier's check. Now, I don't know anything about this. I've never done a wire transfer or cashier's check. I don't know anything about the damn process. I don't know if I have to go to a physical bank to do it. And they're telling me this last minute that I need to do this. I'm like, why didn't you tell me three weeks ago that I was going to have to do it this week so I would have all this information? No, of course not. They tell you last minute and expect you to just drop everything. The good news was you can do wire transfers online through uh, my bank's website. So the, it was the good news was I was able to do it online overnight, no problem. So that step was taken care of. Big chunk of my savings gone, but I fully expected that was going to happen to close this this purchase of this home. Okay, that's number one. Number two, I get told, oh, well, there's all these documents, escrow documents that you need to sign in person. You can't do it over the internet. We have to physically give you documents, and a notary has to be present to do all this. I said, when were you going to tell me this? You never explained any of this to me. I've been doing this for two months with you people now, and you never once explained to me I was going to have to be in physical contact with a notary to watch me sign documents. Oh, we're so sorry. We should have told you. Yeah, no shit you should have, but they didn't. So they say, okay, we're going to get a mobile notary to come out to your place tomorrow, which of course now is today. Uh, and I said, well, the only time I'm available is during my break. I have a break traditionally between 7 and 8, 30, 9 p.m. And that's when I eat my dinner. So they're just going to have to swing by. I guess I'm going to have to make dinner here, a TV dinner or something. And they're going to have to swing by and do all the documents in person here. So I'm like, okay, no problem. They say, okay, we're going to overnight these documents to you via UPS. I said, oh God, for the love of God, whatever you do, do not overnight the documents via UPS. UPS is the worst here. They deliver super late, regardless if you even order overnight, which I've done before. They deliver everything super late. Sometimes they don't leave it. I've had problems. I've called my local UPS and argued. If you guys remember last year, I had a big issue getting uh, headphones delivered. I had headphones that I ordered overnight. For three days, they didn't fucking deliver it. They refused to come back and deliver these headphones. So, at this point, I'm like, do not use UPS. If you can, try something altered. They said, how about FedEx? I said, all right, do FedEx. And they said, will you be home? I said, I don't know. Tomorrow, I'm going to be out. I'm going to be picking, you know, buying stuff for my business, you know, the new games for today. I, I don't know what time they're coming. Maybe I'll still be sleeping. So, say, say, do it so that they'll leave the documents that I don't need to sign for them, okay? So, I wake up today, and I say, okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to check and see if the document showed up or not. In the meantime, I get a phone call from a mobile notary. Oh, hello, Phil. I'm your mobile notary. Uh, what time can I come by tonight? I said, come by around 7.30-ish. At that point, I'll be on break. You come in, you know, we'll get everything done. She explained the things that I need, you know, a copy of my driver's license, a copy of my passport or whatever. I said, fine, I have all that. So we get everything settled. I even tell her the address, explain everything about where I am located so that they can they can show up and, and do this, right? Um, Guess what? The documents didn't show up. What happened was FedEx came. Oh, he's not here. Well, we're not leaving them. And they took they took the documents with them. So no documents are here for me to sign. So immediately now, so here I am. I'm supposed to be working on getting my stream set up and working on this stuff. Nope, I have to drop everything. I have to call the escrow woman. Hey, I don't know what you did, but however you shipped it, you shipped it wrong because they required a signature, which I told you not to do. So they didn't leave the documents, so I don't have them. Oh, all right. Well, here, she says, here's what I'm going to do. I'll call this mobile notary company again, and I'll, I'll make it so that the notary will bring the documents. I'll, set, I'll digitally send them the documents. They'll have to print the documents and then bring them with them. I said, okay, that's fine. Let's do that. Sounds good. I get a phone call while, no shit, while I'm recording my unboxing video for Wolfenstein. 
I get a phone call, a voicemail, a second mobile notary now wants to make an appointment. I'm like, what the fuck is this? A second mobile notary? Why are there two mobile notaries now involved in this process? Why do these people, why can't they just do their fucking jobs like normal people instead of rushing around screwing everything up at the last minute? It makes no sense to me. I'm not that kind of person that rushes around last minute trying to get stuff done, right? I plan my stuff out. So now I'm like, what is this? So I call the escrow woman again. She goes, I don't know what's going on. This is so confusing. I apologize. Things are getting so screwed up. I'll get this fixed for you. So that was about, I'd say, half an hour ago, 45 minutes ago. In the meantime, I've been, I did the unboxing video. I was editing it. I, I did this montage of fan art, which, by the way, thank you very much to anyone who did uh, fan art. And it looks like, oh, my God, it looks like my stream got killed again. This is happening a lot on Twitch. Hold on, everyone. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're not affected. If you're watching this on Twitch, you are. Twitch keeps shutting down my streams. And it's pissing me off. I don't. It's it's a glitch. I asked Twitch about it, and they said it's a glitch. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um, so yes, the stream should be coming back, everyone. This is an ongoing glitch with Twitch where my streams are getting shut down. I don't know why. I've asked Twitch support about it, and they say no, it's not intentional. It's an ongoing problem where streams just end for no reason, and it seems to be happening to me a lot. It's happened to me a bunch in the past several weeks. But anyway, let me get back to what I was saying. So I called the escrow woman again. I said, what's going on? Why are two mobile notaries now contacting me, right? And they say, I don't know. Let me, let me get to the bottom of this, right? Okay, so I sent her, the, I sent her, here's information of the first woman who was supposed to come at 7.30. Here's the information for the second woman who left me a voicemail saying she wants to make the appointment. You got to figure this out because I'm working now. I'm done. I cannot keep talking to you all day. I have to fucking work to pay my bills. I can't drop everything because you're so disorganized, okay? So, I send her all this information, and about 20 minutes ago, I got another email. Okay, Phil, so the second mobile notary will be coming tonight, not the first, and everything should be fine now. If you need any help, here's my cell phone number, which I, kill. I can't call you. I cannot call you. I am busy working. So, I emailed her back again, as literally as I started this stream. I shit you not. I started the stream, and I emailed her again. I said, listen... I don't know what's going on at this point. I hope you don't have two notaries coming here because then they're going to both be fighting over who's getting paid for the job, which I'm not going to deal with. It's not my problem. It's yours. Okay. Um, I don't have the documents. I hope whoever's coming has the documents. This second woman has never spoken to me, and I don't have time to talk to her. I'm working. So I don't know what time she's coming. I don't even know if she has my phone number, but she can't get into the condo facility if she doesn't talk to me. So we're going to have a big problem here, and you got to work it out. So that's where we are right now. And it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Seriously. What the fuck? Like, wh what kind of a process is this? This is insane, this process. It's so broken. You can't just schedule it out ahead of time and have it done. Why tell me the day before it needs to happen that it has to happen? I'm supposed to just not, you know, no work... Just drop everything because you screwed up your process. You didn't have the documents delivered like you were supposed to. You didn't have the right notary. Like, it's so screwed up. And I just, uh, it's frustrating. It's very frustrating. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. It's funny because they're all rushing to get this closed, right? They're all rushing because they want this, to, this deal to close on Thursday. I could give two shits if it closes on Thursday. Because the bottom line is I'm not moving in until mid to late June anyway. So the way I see it, if it gets delayed a few days, it's a few days I'm not paying for a house that I can't move into yet. Right? But they're all in a big tizzy and a rush. This will be hilarious if the woman tries to come tonight and she doesn't have my phone number and she can't get in. And then the other notary shows up and she doesn't have the documents. I'll be like, I don't care. <laughs> really, I don't care. Sorry. I mean, this was your job, not mine. This was the job of the escrow company to get this all fixed, not me. I'm not going to logistically coordinate 100 people to come here because I'm not in no rush to close on this place. You know? So, pretty ridiculous. You know, it's their loss, not mine. If, it just, if this doesn't close this week and it gets delayed till next week, no skin off my back, I wasn't moving in anyway. <laughs> and it's their fault for not coordinating things and screwing everything up, not mine. So, I don't really give a shit. If they show up tonight during my break, they do. If they don't, they don't. 
The only hassle to me is that unfortunately I, uh, have, I'm stuck here for dinner. I can't go out and get food like I usually do, so I'm going to pop a TV dinner into the microwave, and that's going to be my dinner for tonight. So, there you have it. Um, oh, did I get an email? Hold on. I did. Okay. This, I just got an email back. Wow, how pertinent that I'm talking about this. From the escrow woman, she says, Lisa, that's the name of the second notary, has your cell number and is aware of the situation. The first notary is now aware as well. She should be there at 7.30 as well. So there you go. Hopefully everything works out tonight and we're good to go. Fingers crossed, everyone. If not, again, no skin off my back. Um, 